I'm up at South Downs Motorhome Centre and I'm very excited to discover that they've got a Cathargo I145 RBLE Superior. And this I'm excited about because it is a brand spanking new model. It's the very latest one that they've brought out. It's a 7.18 metre vehicle based on a Mercedes Sprinter, hence the Mercedes badge on the front there. It's 170 horsepower and it's 4,500 kilograms, so you're onto a C1 license to drive one of these. But this is a smart piece of kit. This is the very, very latest, as I say. Interesting, they've gone for the white on this one rather than the usual cream, and the interior as well is a little bit different to what we're used to from these guys. So well worth taking a look at. If we have a look in here, we'll find we've got storage in there and also some of the systems in there as well. That one there is for your gas bottles. And if we come right on back, that one <laughs> requires two hands to open it. There we go. And that takes us into the garage. That's a decent size, isn't it? Got the handle there for the awning that comes out. And there's a door on that side as well. So you've got really good access to that. If we come right on around, reversing camera on this one as well, obviously. And that's the awning that I mentioned along there. And that's the other door to that uh, garage area that we just saw. And then down here, cassette for the toilet is in that one. And that one there is a useful little boot locker right next to the door. Superb. There we go. We'll enter here. We've got the step that powers out, as you would expect. Now, what's interesting, I think, about this is they've gone for a much more muted colour scheme. Normally these are all very light inside. This one they've gone for darker woods, a little bit darker upholstery, and it looks very, very smart indeed. Just looks a bit more classy somehow. I think that's great. Very warm, very welcoming, very nice. If we head right on up to the front, I mentioned it was based on the Mercedes Sprinter, so you've got the Mercedes MBUX uh, navigation system here. That one there is the screen for that reversing camera that we saw on the back. Climate control on this one, the multifunction steering wheel, so that's phone controls, cruise control, all that kind of stuff is all configured from there. Look at the detailing they put into areas like this. Doesn't that look nice? Gives it a really solid 3D sort of effect. I think that's great. If we come around here, We've got a bit of storage down in here, that's very helpful. We've got blinds that slide out so you can obviously enclose all this area at night for privacy. And then there's a door on this side as well. Very nice. And what we can also do then is, if I prop my camera up so that I've got two hands free. There we go. I should be able to swivel this and drop the seat down. Obviously both of these seats do the same thing, swivel around and drop down. Let's have a go at this one as well. And the reason that I'm doing this, there we are, is because up above here is this fella. Check that out. That is a really nice double bed right at the front of the vehicle. And what's great about that is that it gives you really good privacy because the other sleeping area is right at the back. Curtains off, of course, as you can see here. It's got its own little skylight. There's blinds that come across here. You've got lighting in here as well. That's a really nice, useful area. Let's put that one back up again. Those in so they're a bit neater. There we go, and that's that. Brilliant, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to put these seats back up. Bear with. Use my natty tripod again. There we go. All the gear. <laughs> no idea. There we are. That one. And turn it the right way. It would help. There we are. That one like that. Now, if we come back a bit further. This table that's here, let's tilt that back up again, there we are. You can see it's got this little emblem because it's on a gimbal, which means you can move that around to your heart's content to position it wherever you want it to be. Other things we've got here, seat belts. So you can travel with four people. You can see you've got the two headrests there as well. That's excellent. This is all storage in places like this. 
all the way along. And again, you've got the big skylights. So this is an opening one here, it cranks open there again, of course, the blinds are coming across. That was the bug screen, night screen the other way. Similar sort of deal above the kitchen. I like this lighting that they've put in around here. That's very good. And then here, this is quite clever. This is the cover for the sink. So that can go on there. Or, well, first of all, it's got a chopping board on the back, which is excellent, but also there's a little slot there that you can put it in there. Just give you somewhere else to put things out of the way, because it's always a problem with motorhomes, isn't it? Lack of space. <laughs> so that's helpful. Um, three burner hob. Of course, you can take that piece out as well, should you wish. Oven is underneath. We've got big drawers down underneath here. These are excellent. like so. I'm going to show you actually, i never show you underneath the floor. Um, what these are is access to some of the service areas but also storage. So if I lift that in the right place, hang on, there we go, what's both of them lifting together. Big storage void but also you've got access to things like the, um, the water drain, that kind of thing, central water drain. Excellent that you should look underneath there, do we? Love the way they put lighting into places like this. This is excellent to drop your shoes into as you come in. Light switches are here as you come through the door. TV is here as well. And you might think, well, that's a slightly awkward shaped TV. Of course, that comes off of there and swivels around. <laughs> so it's correctly orientated. And above the door, we have got control panel here. So this is giving us things like, if I find the right button, there we go, um, battery level for the for the motor battery level no that's water level i <laughs> tell a lie uh, one of these will be battery level for the interior and it's that one um, and wastewater as well is here so basically it's giving you all your readouts for that kind of stuff heating and um, hot water is also controlled from here and that closes down like that again look at the colors that they've put into here it's ever so smart fridge is here really good size and again with this sort of fluting in areas like this i just think that's lovely and these are coat hooks on here so you can pop your coats on there as you come in that's great isn't it isn't that a nice color scheme like that like that very very much if we come on back then we've got the shower on this side it's quite clever because the doors pull out to here point the camera we see what I'm talking about so it comes out that way first and then it comes out this way like this and of course then there's another one here that comes across so that makes that into a nice sized compartment because it comes out right around here shower there and again you've got the skylight up above for a bit of ventilation should you require it always useful in the shower area of course if I track on around then opposite that is toilet that's in behind this door and you've got the sink there as well. And this is storage in all of these. In behind, I'd say. Excellent. You can get to see a lot of yourself here, look. <laughs> How about that? That's your worst nightmare, isn't it? Two of me, both filming. And that one there fits fairly neatly into there as well. There we go. And then right on back, this is the other sleeping area. So two single beds, but if you want to make this a double, you can do. Basically, this one here, you slide that little catch across, and then it all pulls out like that. Cushion drops in there, and you've got, not only have you got a double bed, but also the steps come back with it, of course. Very helpful. These are storage areas in here. So that one is a big hanging rail. What's neat about this is you can lift the top up. It gives you really good access to it. And a similar deal then on the other side. This one is pretty much the same. There we go. And then finally this area, we've got lighting all around here. It's neatly switched from just here. It's very helpful. This, of course, is all storage here and all the way around we've got a skylight up above again we've got the opening windows i like that they put lighting down underneath here that's really really nice little shelves in the corner more light switches over here reading lights as well you can see back in those corners there they swirl around that is excellent isn't it really good even got usb 
sockets tucked away underneath here as well. I like that. I like that very much indeed. And nice to see the state of the art as well. As I say, this is their very latest model. And that is a nice piece of kit. Superb. Right, I'm going to come up here and take a seat over here. There we go. I'm going to say massive thanks to South Downs Motorhome Centre. They've organised this tour. Great to see this one. Let me know what you think of it in the comments and we'll catch you on another one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.